So listen to this. Emergency calls are increasing in the capital city. And at one point, the average wait time for patients to get from the ambulance to the ER bed was more than 90 minutes. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga has the latest on how long it's taking now and the action the city is taking to tackle ongoing emergency calls. Every second counts in an emergency. For Sacramento Fire, it has gotten to a point where all of their ambulances are busy. Some of the 911 calls that we respond to are quite frankly, just non-emergent. Some people were calling 911 for prescription medication refills. To help alleviate the issue, the Sacramento City Council this week approved hiring four private ambulances from Medic Ambulance, which will help provide support for non-emergency calls while the paramedics respond to life-threatening calls. If they do want to get transported, we can utilize one of these BLS ambulances from Medic Ambulance to facilitate that transport and that won't tie up our ALS ambulances for life uh, threatening emergencies. This will also help with boosting response times, specifically when ambulances are held up at hospitals because hospitals are not accepting patients quickly. We are at a point where our 911 system is stretched to the point where it there's dangers. That statement made last year when ABC 10 reported ambulances average offload time in Sacramento County for patients not experiencing life threatening injuries was at one point well above 90 minutes. The county EMS medical director, Dr. Greg Can, says it is below 40 now. In the first week of October, we've seen even a continual trend down to 37 minutes. Dr. Can adds the major reason for the drop is because of a new law, Assembly Bill 40 which requires hospitals in the state to have patient wait times no longer than 30 minutes, 90% of the time. If you really open the door for the for the tough conversations that we need to have. Can says their goal is to bring it down to 20 minutes, 90% of the times. Sacramento Fire Captain Justin Sylvia says the new private ambulances is another tool for them to strengthen the community. It's not gonna compromise patient care whatsoever. That's not what we're doing. And soon, the county hopes to launch a new program called Triage to Alternate Destination and hopes to direct patients to other services like behavioral and mental health instead of just sending them to the emergency department. They hope to launch that program towards the end of the year and hope to keep those times low. Reporting in Sacramento, Garch Paul Sunga, ABC 10.